Hello, and welcome to Spider Technologies. My name is Guillermo, and today I'd like to go over the major components that go into your Spider telephone system. This is the Spider Prism. We use this typically for demonstrations at trade shows and conventions. Uh, the devices you see here will look different, but this will give you a understanding of what they do. And now the first thing I'd like to go over with you today is the router. The router is responsible for controlling the connection to the outside world as well as the firewall. There are two key features on the router. First, the VPN. The VPN allows for remote support that we use to handle any moves, ads, changes, and troubleshooting. And by not having to roll a truck, we can avoid any costly trip charges. You can also use the VPN for telecommuters. This will enable your people to work from home, allowing them to use their telephones and computers, as well as access file servers and printers as if they were in the building. The router's second feature is quality of service. This ensures your call quality by prioritizing voice over data. So if there are large file transfers, such as Windows updates or offsite backups, your call will not suffer or diminish. Uh, the network switch is up next. This interconnects all network devices in your building, such as your computers, printers, servers, security cameras, telephones, and the Spider PBX. The network switch also provides centralized power distribution through power over ethernet to all PoE enabled devices. Uh, your telephones will no longer need a power supply, just simply a network cable. And speaking about power, uh, if you look at the overhead camera, the battery backup is found here. Uh, it's what's powering the prism now. Putting a PoE enabled network switch on a battery backup will not only keep your switch running, but also the PoE devices connected to it. Uh, meaning in the case of a power outage, your telephones will uh, continue to work. Now, please keep in mind that uh, battery backups have a shelf life of about two to three years, so don't forget to check your batteries. Now, moving to telephones. This is a PoE enabled telephone. Uh, if you look back here, the network port connects to the PoE switch and powers the phone like so. There is also a PC port that allows you to daisy chain work, your workstation or another network device. Uh, this eliminates the need for multiple cable drops, meaning you have a single network cable coming from the wall to the telephone and another network cable from the telephone to your workstation. Uh, next, we have a Wi-Fi phone. Uh, you can see it's powered on with only a power adapter and no other cables. Uh, it's wirelessly connected to the spider, and that's the Wi-Fi phone. You can also use deck phones and old school analog phones. This means if you have a hotel with 100 guest rooms, or a manufacturing facility with rugged phones spread across the floor, or remote phones in a large warehouse, they will continue to work just fine. The Spider will work with any standard IP, analog, Wi-Fi, and deck cordless phone. We are a best of breed manufacturer agnostic. Uh, this also means if you're currently on a hosted solution, you will not be forced to replace your phones uh, you can keep the phones you already have. Now, let me move this phone over here and take out this cable. Now, moving on to gateways. There are a few different kinds of gateways. You have analog, digital, and cellular. They provide dial tone for calling out. Analog gateways use traditional lines that people have been using since the beginning of time. Uh, digital gateways use T1s and PRIs, which also provides DID information for the telephone numbers. Uh, 
This is so someone can call the direct line on your business card and it will go straight to your desk. There's also cellular gateways, which can be used for failover uh, or connections in remote locations and also takes advantage of free on network calling. All you have to do is simply pop a SIM card from your cellular provider right into your cellular gateway. Now, you can also get dial tone without even using a gateway altogether uh, with a SIP trunk. A SIP trunk will do everything your digital lines can do, but using your internet connection. And this is voice over IP, and the spider will work with any provider. Now, saving the best for last is, is the spider, which is the brain of it all. And let me get that in frame. The spider directs all calls in and out and provides your automated attendant, your uh, voicemail, your conferencing, your queues, and your ring groups, just to name a few. It also supports integrated applications such as CRM, CMS, billing, fax servers, and instant messaging. Uh, the spider will do as much or as little as you need. Now, I'd like to go over with you a call flow and let me move the prism here as we transform. Okay, I think you can see everything, that looks good. All right, so I'm at my workstation, I pick up my phone, I'm dialing out, call will go from the telephone to the network switch and then from the network switch to the spider. The spider will then determine if your call is going to go through either a SIP trunk or one of the gateways I had already mentioned for you today. And that is a call flow. Now, I hope this gives you a good understanding of the major components that go into the spider PBX. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to give us a contact. We'd love to help you out. Thank you and have a good day. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon for notifications of new videos. Thank you from all of us at Spider Technologies.